When you're visiting a European library and they bring you a 12th century manuscript, I have in my hands the very same thing that somebody in the 12th century poured their heart and soul into and that really connects you to other human beings across a space and time. A gloss is another word that you could use is annotation. For students, it's very easy for them to recognize what this is. Textbooks or things that they're reading when you highlight something, when you give a note and a margin, right? So if we can go into the manuscripts, these voices that really literally have been lost to the margins for centuries, we can make them accessible to people today. You see minds at work that we don't have access to in any other way. They could draw pictures, they could really have doodles, but they might use a text of Augustine then to interpret this text here. It starts to bring to life this medieval intellectual community. St. Louis University is really unique in all of North America to have close to a duplication of an entire major European library. I recently won an NEH Level 2 grant in collaboration with the Research Computing Group, focusing right now on the Gospel of Matthew. Could it be that one day somebody 800 years from now wants to come back and look at my work? Um, I don't think they will, but what we do potentially has longevity. People who wrote these manuscripts in the 12th century didn't know all of the ways that they would impact people. So there's an interconnectedness of human history that this kind of work does make you reflect on those things.